Hello and welcome to Salon Discoveries with Skida Fan. Today, Ude Rice at the Abaddon Beach, inside the Ministry of Tourism and Cultural Affairs and um, other agencies, they come launch the National Tourism Board, where now the tourism for all campaign right now in Gibonta Abaddon Beach Road. Of course, you see behind me different canopies um, and people um, they jubilate all about for celebrate salon culture. This come about to say the ministry one prioritize salon culture and say salon culture and tourism is for everybody. And we can get some service from people um, why they think say this is a good initiative and how they feel say Galeni and Sem will embrace this campaign for all. We are tourism for all. Continue to see us we discover this together. An entrepreneur, I cite out um, Ghana as an example. Say, in respect of waiting to go on a Ghana, there's still is a positive message about the country. You know, so I appeal to all Sierra Leoneans. You know, let we promote we country. If one tourist can inside the country, not to one person they benefit. The person where they take that person from Lunge for kind side fit on the benefit. The one where they lodge and a hotel they benefit. The one where they take them for move around the benefit. Even that person where they touch cold water street. If that person go out, it touch he must buy water street. So now that make the Ministry of Tourism and Cultural Affairs say tourism business, now all man business. Tourism for me, tourism for you, tourism for we all. My name is Elizabeth Keo, but Adia, they represent the Salon Crafty Hands organization. Uh, tell me much about the Salon Crafty Hands organization. Uh, Salon Crafty Hands is a group of young ladies that we come together. We individually, we all all the we get with independent businesses. Eh? But we see fit say we need to come together because we all get half of ideas eh? and if we put them together as a whole, it will help the country. Uh, looking at this creativity, the beautiful dress. How wanna come about this one? Uh, this now one of the dress uh, we we be make as a theme for independence. So we get various one. This are just one of the one they will one showcase for show saying uh, one of the thing and this uh, we will they do. Alright, so we think we think until so put on this kind of a beautiful dress. One na time. Uh, it takes time for Sidon for creating it because as you can see, uh, na thread. 
Yeah. The head and eye they put together with a particular stitch for let you make the pattern. And for crochet, you get different different kind of patterns the way they put together different kind of stitches there, eh? different kind of threads the way you go use. So these are a combination of some acrylic white, blue, and green thread for represent we country flag. And the common stitch we go say this is not double crochet. You don't know go understand it at it, of course. So this is not the organization this way. If you want for crochet, interested in crochet, you can contact one of the number that are zero seven nine eight nine two nine six five. You can talk to me if you want for learn. If you you serve now somebody with a crochet, you want for be part of free. We really interested in Andy. Welcome to Salon Discovery. Name and who I talk to. My name is Sarah Miner from Musum Hotel. Uh, Sarah Miner, looking at the business sector, how tourism done the boost in our sector as entrepreneur? Um, we business done boost too because we they produce all local content. We they promote them within Musum Hotel from all the things that we they use in their rooms to the items that we they sell, as you can see in our booth. <laughs> Welcome to Salon Discovery. You know who we talk to? Ah, uh, me and mommy Kita, we don't go Ras Kita, or the paper man. So me even say grandpa. Alright, so we're at the official launching of the, uh, the tourism for all. What does this mean to we? Well, it means so for take we culture higher. Not even I district for take a higher. One loss of so for bring them back to life. Alright, so why do you say we for bring them back to life? Yes, because we won't run away from our own culture. Even you, you go to identify that by yourself. But now, let's get back to the culture. Africa is Africa, at home and abroad. We are one people. Right. Yeah. So, what in culture means to we Sierra Leoneans? Oh, to we Sierra Leoneans, it means a lot. Because we are part of Africa, and this all this African culture is different from the European or the Caribbean culture. Right. Now, now what they enjoy, so everybody is dancing. In, like I said, the dancers, so you understand it. Okay. So, we must bring bring back this to the green, white, and blue. Right. So make sure the green, white, and blue. Tell us more about the green, white, and blue. Well, it's a lucky country. We get the grass on the beach. We get green. We get a white sun. And we get a blue sea. Hello and welcome to Salon Discovery. The name is Wadawe Tokwit. Uh, my name is uh, John Shalop, the national president for the Sierra Leone Hospitality and Tourism Association. Right. So we didn't have the official launching for tourism for all. What did this mean to us uh, as uh, hospitality? This means everything to we. This is our dream. This is our own world. And tourism, uh, the only thing we will bring unity, peace, happiness to this country. So this means everything to us. Especially this kind of huge celebration with the particular Sanyasu today. We are very proud of it. Right. So tell me about the hospitality. Um, the hospitality sector in Sierra Leone, the Grow. As you see, every now and then new hotels up and come up, and we also up and back on a lot of uh, capacity building for make sure that we meet the demand where they come. Because recently Sierra Leone um, has been nominated as the number uh, top 21 uh, destinations to visit in the world. So we are 
also um, prepare try our best for we walk up and meet up to that kind of demand. Yeah. Yes. So looking at tourism, how tourism will help boost the youth sector as well? Tourism will only help for both this sector. Tourism will definitely help for both Sierra Leone as a whole. It will definitely get a very big impact on the on the GDP of the country. So we really encourage everyone for letting in, um, join me on this journey. No, join the, the, the Honorable Minister um, Nabila Tunis on this dream that she has brought to us. Um, it was a dream, not a reality. So we definitely the, encourage everyone for joining us so that we can continue on this and grow this sector. Because only this sector can for make Lesser Leone really, really stand out and survive. Right. So tourism business now, human business, how on a plan for reach out to the Lama, maybe they sell the market, that part where they sell the, that corner? Well, you know, um, it's good that you ask this. There's a lot of community engagement when you take place. It means you don't do a lot of work. Now, now up to with the private sector, them know, also embrace our hands and do a lot of more community engagement. For part of Slatter, we also have assets when our members them and assets and the association of small scale enterprises them. We, um, as you can see, Naya, they get these cultural things that we are displaying. Um, you can able for see them, fishermen them, them, market them. They're all part of this. So it's not only uh, one person, I mean, or only hospitality, but it's also, you know, the the small business woman the way they talk about. They are very important. And in fact, the cultural aspect of it as well are the most important thing. And it's something that we got for really push forward because when people travel to a country, they don't want to see only a fine beach. They want to understand your culture. They want to understand how you live. And those are the women. Those are the men. We go for showcase and kind thing. Them. And beside the castle, I get different, different trade way between our lamp. This week, nine men will pray God give me. If you post in car wood, if you don't come find me, I make it come find. You see, so what do you mean the advice under the umbrella of this tourist also? I want to let them put on under we in such a like me who said also I able to up to 50 people. Them. If you don't want to get the accommodation, they accommodate me, find place for me, open place for me, the land people. Them. Uh, because any kind of talent has to not find a post in that with them. Exactly. If you dare with them, it's like a, it's like a, a, waste, a waste of time. But if I get side, we side before I go land people, them, I will be very happy. Because at one time, I walked on Bosco, I learned some people, them, they make her up. You see, and right now, that way, I don't know what tourists do. And they pray to God, let tourists in, let them focus on kind of we. we get more good talented people. Them. Now, what you know they want to see, let them see them starting. Uh, now, get people who say, then they outside there, so, but they want to see the starting. I mean, I promise. The government put on me. No sign of me. I talk. No sign of me. The world me to go. We are going to push alone up to the to push alone at the map. Because me, when somebody car would you not come find me? At the bed, at the transformer, come on find. Even paint itself. So let not go far. This work also. I I don't go cook part for you. Thank you, thank you. You take your time when we discover this together. And thank, thank you to the camera operator, Abubakar Tarawali, and to the executive producer, Dr. Aisatu Kake Jalo. So we meet again for another exclusive Salon Discoveries. Me, Ibrahim Temu, Kamara, the report.